In this bulletin, more infections, Gawia an area of concern. No MOH recommendation for extended lockdown. And Fiji surpasses WHO threshold of 5%. Good morning, Fiji. There have been 308 new cases of COVID-19 up to 8 a.m. yesterday, setting a new record for daily infections. However, more concerning is the fact that Gawia village in Lamy had 153 cases alone. This is close to half of the total infections reported over the period ending 8 a.m. yesterday. New cases have been reported in Goodman Filda in Batuanga, Suva, Gounder Shipping, Nosori Police Barracks and St. Giles Hospital. The remaining cases are contacts of known cases or those seen in screening clinics and were swabbed. Dr. Fong has again warned Fiji is yet to see the peak of infections. The metrics that my team uses to assess on a regular basis all indicate that we will see higher increases in daily case numbers in the near term. I want to make sure we understand how that impacts our response and recommendations to government. A lack of public compliance is the main reason that a 24-hour lockdown over a 28-day period would not work for Fiji. Permanent Secretary for Health Dr. James Fong says the only reason that similar lockdowns in other parts of the world have been successful in curbing infections is because people have complied with government directives. Even under such a strict lockdown, Dr. Fong believes the virus would continue to circulate within communities, people would try to leave and some would succeed. Dr. Fong, in rejecting social media speculation, says health experts have not advised the government to implement any extended curfew. The permanent secretary adds that any such move would threaten the survival of thousands of Fijians. The tragic reality is that Fijians living in communities most vulnerable to the virus, including those in informal settlements, are also those most vulnerable to the socioeconomic catastrophe that a 24-hour lockdown for 28 days would bring about. Even under such a strict lockdown, we believe that the virus would continue to circulate in many of these uh, communities. According to the PS in the Fijian context, the extended lockdown means a 24-hour curfew with no movement except for medical emergencies. The head of Fiji's COVID response team has also hit out at social media critics, saying those who have time to tweet or post on Facebook should not dedicate their platform to disinformation. Fiji's test positivity for COVID-19 has crossed the World Health Organization threshold of 5%. The national seven-day average daily test positivity now stands at 5.7 percent, which means there is widespread virus transmission in the Lamy Nosori Radha containment zone. Higher positivity rates mean that more testing should be done, as it suggests that there are more people with the disease in the community who have not been detected yet. Head of Health Protection Dr. Alicia Sahukan says. The daily average is continuing an upward trend as Fiji marked its highest single-day count yesterday since the start of the outbreak. In terms of testing, since the outbreak started in April of this year, we've tested 138,443 samples for, for COVID-19. And since testing begun, began in early 2020, we've tested 181,294 samples. For June the 22nd, we tested 2,913 samples. A 30-year-old woman infected with COVID-19 currently admitted at the Colonial War Memorial Hospital in Suva is in severe state. Permanent Secretary for Health Dr. James Fong warns being young doesn't make anyone immune. Dr. Fong says the highly contagious Delta variant present in Fiji has been described as the fittest and the fastest variant in the world and Fijians should not trifle with it. He says anyone can be seriously impacted by this virus and this variant. She's 30 years old and she has no uh, pre-existing medical conditions. The point we want to make is don't think that being young makes you immune. 
A Gander shipping crew has been isolated following a lone COVID-19 case which was recorded in one of the ships providing freight services to outer islands. FBC News confirms that the Lomai Viti Princess 9 berthed at the Narayan jetty last night coming back from Kandavu when the case was recorded. Health Permanent Secretary Dr. James Fong says the crew members have relevant protocols and procedures to adhere to. Accordance with our shipping crew protocol, any unloading of freight takes place in areas that are clearly demarcated so that there are no interactions between crew and others, including people on the ground in Vonelevu and the outer islands. Crew were not permitted to disembark in Vonelevu nor in the islands, and these protocols have been and will continue to be strictly enforced by the police my medical teams, and the Maritime Safety Authority of Fiji. A total of 299,202 Fijians have been vaccinated with at least one dose of the AstraZeneca vaccine, representing 45% of our targeted population. Permanent Secretary for Health Dr. James Fong says of these 32,766 individuals have now been fully vaccinated. In the last three days, the ministry deployed 14,730 doses. The Rewa Nursery Medical Subdivision and the Bar Medical Subdivision are now leading the way in terms of vaccination coverage. With 70 and 81 percent of their target population having received at least one dose of the vaccine respectively. New World and Shop and Save Supermarket will be delivering household packs to those in targeted lockdown areas and home isolation. Minister for Economy A.R. Said Kayum says they had put out expression of interest in the private sector and 19 applications were received from various businesses, including supermarkets. Said Kayum says out of these, they had selected two. Shop and Save's um, staff will be delivering the food as already completed. Uh, their training with the Ministry of Health in respect of the various health protocols. Uh, in fact, today uh, they were out on a, on a run, a um, uh, learning run uh, in uh, Ngawea settlement. Uh, there's about 542 homes that are being delivered with food today. In fact, probably would have been completed by now. And, and they will then uh, essentially take over those deliveries completely together with New World. And to our latest COVID-19 update. There were 308 new cases in the 24-hour period ending at 8 a.m. yesterday morning. Of the new cases, 297 are from the Lami Nosuri containment zone and 11 are from tramline Nandi. 218 of the cases in Lami Suva Nosuri are from existing areas of interest including 153 from Gawia in Lami. Fiji has recorded 2,778 cases since April. There are now 2,173 active cases in isolation with 653 recoveries in total. The COVID-19 death toll stands at 13. Up ahead, the White Trust rookies and strict conditions for play transfers. Welcome back. The Oceania 7 tournament, which starts today, is a critical part of the exposing the younger players in the international arena. Veteran player Jerry Tuwai says the team did not have any international competition exposure since the Los Angeles 7s in March last year, and since the team has recruited newer and younger players, will need some game time with international players. Tuwai says the competition weekend is a good platform to test the team. These new boys uh, bring uh, something else, you know, uh, they're new, so, so they, have, uh, they are young and excited and uh, real fit and uh, they are eager to play this weekend. The Fiji Football Association mid-season transfer window will still happen as scheduled next month but with more stringent guidelines. 
PGFA Chief Executive Mohammad Yusuf says they are turning online to comply with the COVID-19 safe protocols. Yusuf says vaccinated players and those yet to be vaccinated are eligible for vaccination. Vaccination doesn't apply there. That's what we do, but there will be very strict criteria, like uh, we will need to protect the districts that have been looking after the players, you know, and all that. So once the guidelines are out, we'll, we'll let the media know. There will be no alcohol allowed at the Olympic Games. Tokyo 2020 organizers decided against selling alcohol at Olympic venues while defending plans to allow up to 10,000 domestic spectators. Cloudy periods with some showers over the eastern and interior parts of Viti Levu and Vanua Levu, the Vuni, Lao and Lomai Viti group. Elsewhere fine apart from isolated brief showers and cool at night. That's FBC Morning News. Join us at 7pm for a major bulletin. For news you can trust, get the facts from FBC's TV, radio and digital news at fbcnews.com.fj. Take care and good morning.